Hey YouTubers, sorry it's been a while since I made a video. I uh, had a really, really crazy last week or so. I've uh, been very busy, job oriented stuff. Um, thought I'd uh, do a quick video on what can happen when you do get busy and you don't pay the attention to your fish tank the way you should. Uh, as you can see, this is my tank, uh, badly in need of a trimming. Um, at this point, I've got a uh, fish show coming up this next weekend, so I'm going to kind of let it grow out even more and then do a massive trimming right before the show and take the trimmings in and see if I can sell some of them. So uh, that's going to be put off for a little while. But uh, one of the other things I wanted to point out was... Uh, the uh, Sunset High Grow, which is uh, this plant right over in here, uh, has also started showing some nutritional deficiencies, being that I had missed a couple of days uh, with the ferts. Uh, I do a small dose once a day, as opposed to one large dose once a week. I uh, found that to keep a more even value for nutritional stuff but the downside to that is if you miss a day or two the uh, signs of deficiencies can show up pretty quick uh, unfortunately another thing the problem I'm having is my CO2 tank ran out and I need to get it filled so that's gonna happen this next week but uh, anyways let me uh, take you loose of the tripod here and I'm gonna show you a sign of potassium deficiency. Uh, I'm hoping you can see it. I can barely tell, but if you look at some of these leaves and you look and see the holes in them, um, especially uh, that leaf right there, this leaf hanging right there, um, and this bottom leaf right here. But you can see that with the holes in it and the browning around the edges. And here's another one right there. Right in there. Um, that comes from uh, low potassium. And uh, there's a real. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. Maybe it'll stay in focus. See how bad that one looks? But that, for those of you who haven't dealt with it before, um, there's another one right there. That is what happens when you don't get your uh, furts right. So, I'm um, doing a desperate catch-up on it. I double-dosed today. And these, uh, these plants will come back around. I'm not worried about them you know, dying off or anything like that. But uh, just thought I would, uh, while I had a good example of it, point that out as to what can happen. Uh, you can also see some yellowing in the leaves there on this crypt. So, if you do a planted tank and you go with the more high-tech method where you got pressurized CO2 and you're adding the ferts and you get everything looking good, make sure you stay up with your fertilization program because, once again, we're going to bring that magical word into uh, play. It's all about balance. And if you let one of them get out of balance bad things happen like you can see some of the BBA that's starting to get a little bit worse right right in there you can see it right there these are the bad things that happen when you when you let it get out of balance but anyway I just thought I'd do a quick video on that um, otherwise all is well. Uh, 
I did get some new fish in this last week. Uh, some dwarf quarry cats. Um, they are currently uh, over in the hospital tank right there. A little five gallon. Um, quarantined for a period of time. But they're all looking healthy and good and they will be moved over into the 20 gallon over here. So I need some janitors in my 20 gallon. <laughs> so there's five of them in there. They'll be going in the 20 gallon with the uh, Winter Series Tetras and the uh, two angels. And uh, about another week or so, I think those angels are going to come out and uh, they'll be being moved into this tank, the 55 gallon. So um, I'll just have the uh, Buenos Aires and the, uh, the Dwarf Quarries in the 20 gallon. So I don't know, maybe I'll get lucky and pick up some, some fish while I'm at this uh, summer meet for our fish association. Um, and if anybody is in South Carolina watching this uh, and you are not a member, definitely check out the uh, SCAA, which is South Carolina Aquatics Association. You can find it online, um, free to sign up. Uh, we usually have two meetings uh, a year, uh, and uh, this one in particular is going to be a swap meet. It's going to be a meeting and a swap meet. So, you know, if you've got uh, extra fish or extra plants or extra shrimp or whatever to uh, sell or trade or whatever like that, it's a great time to get out there, and plus you get to meet some of your other, uh, you know, fellow uh, hobbyists and uh, there's always a lot of good information they usually have uh, some vendors on hand uh, where you can get free samples of foods and chemicals and all kinds of neat stuff and of course they always run a raffle where they usually give away uh, tanks and fish and all kinds of odd objects that could be useful to you um, other than that I uh, hope everybody's having a great weekend, Saturday night, I'm uh, chilling out in my room, uh, just uh, enjoying the fish and the plants, and a little bit of TV, being a good boy, staying in, and uh, hope everybody has a great rest of the weekend, and we will talk to you soon.